Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, ascending masters of the universal legacy of eternal life. Our local sun, Solaris, moves into the zodiac sign of Virgo today. We have powerful divine feminine goddess energies coming in. We are currently anchoring in a new timeline into the grids of Mother Earth. With all these activations and shifts occurring in this realm, Pachamama received a massive activation today on the Ring of Fire with a magnitude 6.2 earthquake in Indonesia. We have a major flood in Dallas, Texas. And Mother Earth had another powerful release with an eruption of volcano Popocatapetl, Smoking Mountain in Mexico. Our prayers and blessings go out to all of our people suffering due to these great earth changes. With all these powerful earth changes, Gaia is purifying and cleansing her physical vessel to usher in the new golden age of enlightenment for all her Christos children of the sun. Let us send our Divine Mother and all sentient beings of light much love, blessings, and bliss for this great shift of the ages into the new heaven upon the new earth. One of our most powerful tools at this time is the violet flame. With your almighty I Am presence, continue blazing this realm with the violet ray to assist Gaia and our ground crew team of the 144 in this transformation and transfiguration into the pure land of paradise she was always destined to be. In this reality we are experiencing, our mindset is very important to our lives and for our missions. Our mindset is the thoughts we hold within our mind moment by moment. Are your thoughts that of fear and worry or are they thoughts that inspire and lift your spirit? Do your thoughts conjure worry and anxiety or do they encourage you to live your passions and dreams? The key to co-creating the new earth begins in the mind, withholding the visions of what you want to see for the positive timeline what you wish and hope to see for humanity and the new earth, what you see and feel for Mother Earth and all her children, because we have an individual experience and a collective experience. The world at large is both. We hold the line with our joy, peace, happiness, and courage. We feel all the positive energies that flow through the universe. We enjoy the day. Spend time in nature and with your loved ones. Surround yourself with people that are inspired, that lift your spirit. Be the uplifter, the inspiration you wish to see in the world. Your Buddha nature is shining bright the gold light of your crystalline rainbow body of infinite life. Anything is possible in these times. You deserve to have everything your heart desires. For you, beloved, are worth it. Aho, al Kalb, al Asad, lion hearted warriors of the rainbow tribe of New Earth, rise. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 25 degrees, 22 minutes. Cancer. The sun is at 1 degree Virgo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 2 degrees Virgo. A large white cross dominating the landscape stands alone on top of a high hill. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 26 degrees Cancer. Guests are reading in the library of a luxurious home. From astrologyweekly.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Morachetti. Powerful stellar codes coming through Merkaba, stellated, dodecahedron activated. Physical body can be extremely exhausted due to this huge download sacred flower of life coming online and radiating all over the place. For some, it means literally walking in a lucid dream 
activating many ancient sacred gifts and talents. For others it means an immense releasing. For all it's a huge passageway. Everything is divinely orchestrated and perfect as it is. Crown and head totally embraced by vortexes of light. Respect your light body, take care of your light, honor this moment with infinite love, Christina. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Long. If you are tired of the old paradigm of separation, confusion, and fear, elevate into the higher dimension of etheric energies of your fifth dimensional conscious self. It is there we are always home within ourselves, which needs no opinion nor judgment. We all just flow as one energetic force of divine love. And from Isis Channelings, Sun Regulus Conjunct, Sphinx New Age Priest, Priestess Architects, Initiation of Final Lion's Gate Portal. As the Sun conjuncts Regulus, Heart of the Lion, 20th through the 23rd of August, we go through the most potent, intense, and last gateway of the Lion's Gate Portal. The activated light of Regulus is the key that unlocks the sacred gateway guarded by the Sphinx, the bridge between the unmanifest and manifest. After the abundant shower of new spiritual codes of ascension of the Lion's Gate, Infinity Gate, July 26th through August 23rd, it is here that we are tested by the Sphinx before being given the corridor pass into the realm of alchemy and manifestation. It is here that we are tested for the qualities of the Lion Heart, empathy, compassion, devotion, leadership, selfless service, justice, and above all the quality of meditative receptivity. Spiritual meditative practices often get misinterpreted as a state of active doing, whereas what is actually required of us is to be, be alert, not passive, and attentive, and allow the universe to flow through you, guide you, connect you with the seen and unseen realms of existence. That is the secret of connecting into the intricate web of oneness and ultimately manifestation and alchemy. The crowning glory of spiritual ascension, evolution, and mastery. The very essence of the Lion's Gate portal. This is the significance of the period between 8-8 and Sun Regulus conjunction, as it is in this period that the potent initiations take place. We are required to be in alert receptivity, listening, tuning into the seen and unseen realms. For only if you listen will you be able to acquire the keys to the sacred passage guarded by the Sphinx that opens the portal of alchemy and manifestation as the sun activates the royal light of the heart of the Lion Regulus, key holder of the Akashic records and upholder of divine karmic law and justice. This is the initiation into the priest, priestess codes of Atlantis, architects of the new golden age. Where have the veils of illusion suddenly dropped for you to reveal untrue perceptions you have hitherto held on to? Where has justice been redirected as per the new perceptions that have been unveiled? What revelations, especially with karma and dharma, is the universe disclosing to you? The Sun Regulus conjunction is not intended as an ego boosting initiation of a priest, priestess, hood of architects of the new age. It is an initiation into change, justice, and karmic retribution, moral responsibility, conduct, and leadership, developing warrior plus nurturer, way shower attributes to the lion, deepening one's communication with the universe via gratitude, sacred ceremony. Simply being one with the universe and trust. Reverence and gratitude is also sacred ceremony. And trusting the guidance of spirit to take inspired and courageous plus compassionate action from a place of balance in the face of adversity. For this is the path to bring forth the new timeline of peace, balance, harmony and justice where all sentient expressions of life force energy take their place in the circle of life light as one, and light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. sa -ke na from IsisChannelings.wordpress.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ra James, 
We have shifted into Virgo season today. We have now walked through the fire of Leo season. Leo season brought a lot of masculine, royal, look at me vibes. It helped many in building up their ego. The issue with that is spirituality requires an entire release of your ego or any old 3D identities. This is a time to break on through past all of that. Our souls will meet in a place of service. The rest of August, we will continue to align with the sun. I've been connecting with the earth, sun, moon, and the stars. I've been working with and using the energies of the elements. We are moving into an amazing time of the year for anyone into elemental magic. Virgo is a star maiden. She represents purity. Virgo is the sign of the goddess. Goddess of the Harvest Saturday's Virgo new moon shifts us into some high earth energies. This is a time of earth magic as we prepare for next month's harvest moon and the equinox. We're going to see a huge increase in the ascension energies as we wrap up 2022. The next year will continue to bring some massive clearing work. Many of you have been shown the work you need to do. Those of you that are in some type of toxic situation know what needs to be done. The things weighing you down are getting too heavy to continue to hold on to in these higher frequencies. The best way to fly is simply to let go. You're remembering more that you came here with wings too. Virgo is the sign of the healer. This Virgo season is an amazing time to be detoxing, healing, and doing some type of energy work. It's time to assess how you're spending your time and energy. This is the most valuable thing you have. It's a great time to get organized and to get a good plan. Earth is a grounding and hard-working element. It's great for tapping into and manifesting abundance. Expect this Virgo season to bring some major throat chakra activations. Many have healing work to do in this area still. If you are seeing foxglove flowers, take it as a special sign. It's the season for fairy bells or witch gloves. These are the flowers of the fairies. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing dot com, and from Divine Sister of the Light Quana Michaela, Energy Report August twenty third, twenty twenty two. Immense divine energies, beloved ones. They are expanding and increasing in the planetary field and collective consciousness field. Common for the collective felt energy pressure to the physical structure, system, body parts, right or left side. Pressure on the back energy channels between shoulders and neck. Sensitive shoulder blades. Possible to feel burning or hot sensations. Head. Full. Dull. Attention flows somewhere else. Sleepy state. High sensitivity within the body. Inner organs. Blood pressure. Physical heart. Some may feel confused. Spaced out. In the moments finding themselves on the higher vibrational spaces. There is a big scale high energy presence, including energies from the New Earth timeline. Energies are streaming into the fabric of this reality. Organic ascension trajectory, timeline itself is making its presence tangible for humanity to step on it again. After this latest mix of the incoming energies, Lion Gates versus distorted lunar stream and corrupt timeline, where humanity became like a boxing bag now, there is brought back organic flow of ascension. It was supposed to occur already during August 18, 19, but still there was a lot of densities. Debris and corrupt timeline was fighting back. So there was needed the second approach to get rid of the garbage completely and completely restore source God's pure stream on the planet. Because God has stepped beside humanity in this 2022. We are given events, turning points, extra support in these moments. Only Source knows about it. And only Source decides when. This is the difference between March 2020 through December 2021 and 2022. And this makes a difference in each of us passing linear days. So far, August is a very turning point in every meaning of this term. We must go up. These energies ensure this. The real energy of 2022 is focused in the present energies in this linear August 23rd. It is streaming like a fresh and clear presence and essence through the human vessel, consciousness, 
crystalline light body with such a power. The real 2022 is here now, not with January 1st, but with August 23rd. Collective consciousness undergoes and experiences purification. Not a purification that means releases, letting go, purge, but purification that means that the field of consciousness is illuminated with the light until the level where the field becomes crystalline or is a crystal pure tone, white plus ice blue. You must see it, it's only partially possible by using human language terms to explain. Describe all of present or any information included in the energy reports. Frequencies and vibrations are through any report. That's why the rest are not describing this and will be perceived in the subtle levels of your being. With loving 2022 blessings for us all, Kwana Michaela. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. We are in for more clearing of the old programs, belief systems, old woundedness, so often deeply unconscious and buried. Whatever we could not have expressed or has been deliberately suppressed, whatever is still there lurking in whatever form is being churned up, so that we can finally let go and be freed on all levels. This so often involves deep shadow work, but at the same time, a deepening love for the self, who so often was bewildered and lost on planet Earth, and thus always did the best it could in the circumstances it found itself in. Compassion includes the self and much as it includes others, for what you see in others is there within you. It might not have been in this lifetime, but in others. Again, as we heal ourselves, we heal others. As we step past this all and therefore onto the rainbow bridge and into the new earth, without any baggage in any form or weighing us down, we pave the way for other souls to follow suit. It is the power of love which indeed is seeing us find those wings again and unfurling them, and indeed rising into the truth of who and what we are at soul level, authentic, truthful, real, integrity, truth, unconditional love, pure intent, co-creating in the highest and best ways for the highest good of all, in unity and harmony with all that is. What a beautiful unfolding this is. From JudithKusel.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. The higher mind is overriding the ego mind. The ongoing battle has been triggered through painful emotions and abuse that may have caused some health conditions. Freedom from that cycle is available today. The door is open for you to fly free and not look back. Continue healing your feminine power and emotions until you feel confident to go. Release the distorted masculines that trapped you emotionally. Leave the vengeance to the Most High to punish your abusers. Rewards for your suffering are also available. Follow the inspired ideas of change and movement, rather than focusing on what's already dissolving. Don't fall for being the victim, lack, and unworthiness roles that the ego wants you trapped and controlled under. Your feminine leadership and power is here to help you break free. It's time to own this version of yourself. Virgo season is behind you all the way to complete your internal feminine upgrades and begin your new mission template as a sovereign divine feminine warrior and master creator. In Jesus Christos name, amen. God bless you. Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames and from Divine Bro, Thor of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your DNA. Gene Key 59, August 23rd, 2022 through August 28th, 2022. Dishonesty, intimacy, transparency. Intimacy is the key to manifest equilibrium in the world. Intimacy is this context refers to honesty and interaction with others. The vital role of honesty is to create a clean group aura in which all hidden agendas are laid on the table. Without this, no true equilibrium can ever be reached. The Gene Key Books And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 59, Dispersion, Gentle Breeze Dancing on Moving Water the whispering wind guides one to dive into the depths of love without fear. 
Transparency is the clarity of devotion. Intimacy is intuitive commitment. Dishonesty is the unease of half-heartedness. Intentional communication. The ancient kings, in accordance with this, presented offerings to God and established the ancestral temple. The experience of being in love is the prelude to our future awareness. It doesn't generally remain because we haven't awakened enough for that frequency to stabilize. We carry too much wounding as we transmute our wounds and experience our higher consciousness. These kinds of relationships become possible, even probable. Richard Rudd's 64 Ways, GeneKeys.com, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, in a month where purification is so important after the long integration period that we are having with the Lion's Gate's energies, we now pass to embrace the loving and feminine essence of Virgo. As soon, since August 22nd, we have the sun in Virgo, together with a new moon in Virgo as well in the same sign at the end of the month. The fiery force of the masculine will be now tamed by the subtle and gentle presence of Virgo's divine feminine essence, retrieving our crystalline love light essence and rebirthing into who we truly are. For it is now time with Virgo to synthesize in our bodies all the light that we have been descending. With Virgo, it is also a time for us to clear our twins' energies and relationships and eliminate the cords that still link us to others and that we shall let free, allowing others to live within freedom and our own selves. For as long as we are tied to people who have already fulfilled their mission with us and vice versa, we are now entirely free especially to engage ourselves in precious energy and another conscious and balanced relationship, clearing sexual and emotional cords from our physical and non-physical bodies is one of the most important clearings to do if we desire to enter into a new harmonic union, being completely disengaged from previous ties, if we are still attached energetically, sexually, and emotionally to someone else we will continue manifesting the same relationships and patterns. We need to break the cycle by going within and dissolving the ties that are still impeding us to retrieve our own energy and begin anew. From a cosmic perspective, when the sun shines a light into Virgo, we are called now to ground ourselves and direct our creative power into our earthly plane. It invites us to remember that the purity we hold within can also be reflected in everything we do in our dense realm. Even if the sign can seem practical, its main essence is all about remembering that we are here to combine what we create from the inside with what others may need in the physical, for we are here to unify both polarities and planes, the physical and the ethereal, bringing all these inner visions into our tangible realm, as it is only by doing that that we can truly master ourselves as creators of the physical. We are in a very important phase for us to erase mental and sexual programs, emotional wounds, and anything that impedes us to retrieve the purity of our original DNA. If we desire to truly heal and shift old patterns, there is no other way than to go within our template and heal, clear and restore everything that we have unintentionally created or all that has been programmed upon us. There has never been an opportunity for us to retrieve our soul memories and sovereignty like the one that we have at the moment, when planet Earth is also more open as its grids, which is what allows the energies to descend to us, are being restored, and when we are being assisted by so many illumined beings and forces. The choice is always for us to make, for there is the responsibility and devotion to evolve and assist others in our decision to step into this path. Within Infinite Love, Natalia Alba, StarseedSoul.com And from here in the Moon Astrology, Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022, Your maverick is your power. Awakener Uranus is stationed all week at his most volatile turning retrograde in Taurus on August 24th until January 22nd, 2023. 
The sky god's modus operandi is throwing lightning bolts when you least expect it to, jolt you out of your ruts and comfort zones into what appears to be chaos. Chaos is found in your brain waves, heartbeats, the fractal structure of your breathing, circulatory, digestive, and nervous systems. We see chaos in all natural processes from the weather to evolution, and the turbulence in our lives reminds us that we are that. By embracing instead of resisting chaos in your life, you begin balancing out millennia of identification, which says that only order equates with good. Our programming tells us that we should stave off chaos and disruption at every point. But the continual dynamic interplay of chaos and order is fundamental to your well-being. By rejecting it, you run the danger of rejecting yourself. Chaos is the essence of life. Chaos is essential to health. As Uranus stations conjunct the karmic note of fate, frame whatever happens as a reminder to those of us who are edge dwellers, mavericks, and creatives that enlightenment is not about leaving the world and your human traits behind, but about integrating your quarks, idiosyncrasies, weirdness, and sore and sensitive spots into what makes you, you. This is your unique gift and the world needs it. It's not about conforming, twisting, or shaping yourself to fit the collective norms, but about being gloriously, liberatingly yourself. That is your genius and your essential soul imprint. You are not here to fit in, be well balanced, or to conform to keep the peace or earn love. You are here to be eccentric, different, perhaps strange, perhaps just to add your small piece, your little ragged self, to the great mosaic of being. You are here to become more and more of yourself to handcraft a life that expresses your unique essence, your spirit, your duende, why you are here. You are leaving behind the roles, all the settling for, the making nice, the barely breathing and calling it a life. It's time to outgrow old duality-based defiant oppositional positions and respond to the karmic requirements of the moment by following your unique evolution. This means inner processing, not outer positioning, posturing. The mystery is this. There is one right thing and only one right thing to do at every moment. You either follow or resist the slender threads. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk And from divine sister of the light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun enters Virgo. It's time to get organized and dust away the cobwebs inside and out. The focus is on efficiency and effective use of time and energy. Analyze what's working for you and what isn't. Concentrate on the details. Deal with those little tasks that have been irritating you in the background. Even if it's unpleasant, the satisfaction of tidying up your life releases energy, which can be directed to more productive avenues. Maybe it's time for a health kick, fasting, a cleanse, revising your diet. Your body is a temple for your soul. With this service-oriented sign illuminated, the question is how can you help? Consider what you can do today that will make a difference. Perhaps there is a voluntary cause that could use an extra pair of hands. Maybe it's just a friend or neighbor in need. Small acts of kindness make everyone feel better. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time Welcome to the Lunar Scorpion Moon of Challenge. This is the second moon of the Planetary Service Wave Spell, holding the power of polarity and stabilization. Without polarity and friction, we would not grow. We are in the third year solar ring of the nine-year vision map. This map is a template or guideline to gauge our journey and give a frame of reference as we shift from one stage of being to the next. This shift is also referred to as the biosphere-noosphere transition. Noosphere is the self-realized planetary mind. The vision map says, the entire world appears to be under a mass hallucination or dream spell, a legacy of falsity handed down for generations that no group or individual has yet been able to alter. We are here to break the dream spell of false history. A dream spell is any consensual reality. 
we see the current planetary dream spell does not have the best interest of humanity in mind. According to the law of time, this 1260 frequency has its roots in the theft of time. This theft is also known as the fall, from sacred to profane. This created a split of the two hemispheres of the brain. This was the point that the balance of equality was lost and the energies became dominated by the left brain male. This was the primal fragmentation of our consciousness, so we feel separate from each other and the source. This vision map points out that all crises are ultimately a crisis of consciousness. Everything begins in the mind. In each moment we have two choices, to either consciously encode the future or unconsciously recreate the past. The totem animal for this moon is the scorpion, signifying the process of death and rebirth, a time of great transmutation of energies. Noah's Letter Number 157, LawOfTime.org Cosmic History Quote for Moon 2, Day 1 Knowledge is revealed and given for awakening the human before death, so that he, she can realize cosmic being now. And from the Zolkin Times, Keen 97, Red Rhythmic Earth. Rhythmic is the name for the number 6, and its keywords are organize, balance, and equality. The sixth day of a wave spell is about getting your shift together. Progress cannot be made by daydreaming and twiddling your thumbs. Sometimes you have to be practical. Today is about taking matters into your hands and taking care of business. The number six insists that we address imbalances. In order to obtain equilibrium, we must first get into a healthier rhythm. Today is Red Earth and its keywords are evolution, synchronicity, and navigation. It's a great combination of number and day, with the practical number six providing a great opportunity to rebalance, and this in turn facilitates evolution. If you have mundane things to take care of today, remember you are organizing your own progress, whether it's planting seeds in your garden or renewing your passport or sorting out your home so it is more feng shui. Well, you get the picture. Synchronicity is more likely to occur when we are in a balanced state and vice versa. We can attract synchronicity into our lives to help us to rebalance. The guide today is also Red Earth and so a double helping of evolution. The first day of a wave spell and the 6th and 11th are always guided by themselves. If you are a number 1, 6 or 11 you are guided by yourself and this can mean that no one can tell you what to do. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Red Rhythmic Earth, 6 Caban, Key 97, 23rd of August, 2022, Divine Synchronic Evolution, 23-8-2022 equal 586 equal 514 equal 55 equal 10 equal 1, 55 Freedom Portal, Day Codes, 23, Royal Star of the Lion, Protection, Strength. 5, Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, Movement. 10, Manifestation, Authority, Power. 1, New Beginnings, Independent, Unique, Original. Month, Year, Codes, 8, Infinite, Abundant, Source, Flow. 6, Heaven, Christ, Consciousness, Harmony, Family, Fertility. 14, Media, Publicity, Promotion, Recognition. Key 97 equals 16, 7, magic. 18 months ago, 6 Caban occurred on the Equinox Gateway, 21st of March, 2021, which was the 2121 portal. 21, the code of the crown of the Magi, which denotes victory over long-fought battles, advancements, and honors, a beautiful code which blesses our future plans. Nine months ago, Key 97 occurred on the trail of the Sagittarius Eclipse, signaling that many blessings, gifts, and benefic rewards are in the pipeworks. These connections through time are very powerful as each successive day builds on the energy of the prior, all working together to ensure our successful planetary liberation. Day six and we are halfway through our yellow human wave spell of wisdom, influence, intelligence, free will, and abundance. We certainly are attaining more divine wisdom and bombshell truths in this wave spell. 
Nothing can be hidden from those who have the eyes to see. Today we are listening for signs in our physical reality which are guiding our true course in our evolutionary journey as we navigate a course of justice, peace, and equality for all humanity. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone six in the physical realm. Action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all-adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Explore the great outdoors and commune with the elementals. Invite them home with you to organize your house and garden. They love helping. Today we are organizing our physical environment and our planet for greater balance, harmony, and equality. Not only do we have a rhythmic day, but we also have a double earth Kaban day. This is a brilliant alignment as Gaia energetically and magnetically resets for greater balance throughout her entire body. Hold on, planetary kin, the global seesaw is about to reach zero point. It is time to find your fulcrum and center of balance before the next momentum hits. Today's questions are, how can I organize myself to have more balance and flow in my life? What are the signs telling me? How can we as a collective navigate our successful evolution through prioritizing equality, harmony, and balance for all beings? Divine blessings for a super-duper organized day. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 97, Red Rhythmic Earth. The mantra, the code for today is... I organize in order to evolve, balancing synchronicity, I seal the matrix of navigation, with a rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Brother of the Light, Els Minjes, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account, the links at EgoLoveCondor.com. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light, Infinite All, for joining our YouTube membership, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to join our YouTube membership, you can do so under every video on the button that says Join. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Becky Morgan, for your purchase today. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support. You can purchase my Divine Queen's beautiful handmade goddess totem, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful code and affirmations from Divine Brother of the Light, Sean Caulfield. Alignment of the Light. Ahau. Amazingly, this alignment only happens once in every 12.8 years, or 13 times 360 day tun. The 13 day tracena of Ahau Light, which completes today 13 Road, 23rd August 2022, 
is in alignment with these 18 days of Ahau light, day 117 of the ninth wave, a very intense transmutational energy is busy shifting and shaking our world to heal and awaken, stay internally pure and be true to the heart. Today Ahau light completes and it's the 10th day of 18 days of Ahau light and day 117 of the ninth wave. Affirmations of the light. As our collective consciousness transcends by an accelerated leap in our evolution, I am being guided to hold center, be true and meditate. I am seeing my light body as billions of stars sparkling and shining and rising up. My light and physical form is dissolving into the void of great mystery to ascend and become one with the source creator of the infinite universe. In this time of completion to cosmic maturity, I open my heart and heal the starlight memory of my soul, so I become pure and flawless like a diamond, as the universal source creator of all creation and the primordial beginnings billions of years ago, encoded my star seed to be. My multidimensional awareness understands that what is out there is a reflection of what is within. How I treat others, I treat myself. I take full responsibility and make amends on everything out there within me. I am so sorry for the pain and suffering my unconscious state has caused to myself and others. Please forgive me. I am sorry. I love you. I thank you. Ho'opono pono. As I heal the trauma of evolution, I learn to surf the waves of life and my inner light spins and spirals above every repeating challenge to call to the lost aspects of my soul to return. I am high vibrational love, here to create earth to be a diamond light portal of universal peace. Thank you to the archetypal forces of divine universal time who are in service to the creator's highest vibrational levels of sacred love and pure light, time keeping. Today we complete 13 days of Ahau light and it's the 10th day of 18 days of Ahau light and the 117th day of the ninth wave. This combination has brought about the synchronicity of internal time to align consciousness to a powerful period of incoming transmutational light, bringing inner healing to the collective consciousness of the earth, enabling duality to be transcended. We are in the 220th 18-day cycle since the completion of all nine levels of creation. On the 1st of September, we move into the so-called 13th day of the 8th wave. More explaining to follow. From the heart, Sean, from the universalfrequency.com. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed rest of your week ahead. And keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.